Las Vegas, Nevada, 3,800 hours of sunshine a year, its own Eiffel Tower, enough bright lights to make even Joan Rivers look human, and a healthy balance of sin and white wedding chapels. Welcome, cruise controllers. We're at NAB 2011, and Information Overdrive has a sneak peek of the Sony booth before it even officially opens to the public tomorrow. There's a ton of awesome new equipment, so put down your bucket of coins, get up from those dollar slots, and come with me, Rebecca Toth, to the jackpot of cool video gear at the Sony booth. One, the NEX FS100 NX cam is being marketed as a 35mm motion picture camera instead of a repackaged DSLR camera. Can you tell us what makes this camera more like a digital cinema camera and less like a DSLR? This camera is designed from the ground up as a motion camera. This is a motion uh, image camera and it starts with a sensor. So this DSLR cameras are optimized for still images, so they have a very high resolution uh, pixel sensor, but they have to actually sacrifice, decimate uh, most of the pixels for motion capture. In this case, this camera is still oversampling to avoid aliasing, and, but it has a more moderate uh, amount of pixels that allows us to capture motion with much higher quality. Uh, you can shoot with this camera all the brick walls you want and you will not see any of the aliasing or shimmering and so on. In addition to that, this camera is built as a camcorder and it has incorporates all the things that we have learned to focus and capture images with uh, high resolution uh, running and gunning. So we, we have features such as uh, <clears throat> color peaking, we have expanded focus, we have the ability to see all the information on the, on the viewing tube, the viewfinder, and it's possible to control the exposure as well. We have zebra indication, indicators, we have histograms, all the information that you require to shoot images uh, with, of high quality um, uh, during, uh, with motion. The lens is capable of autofocusing, the, the standard lens that is uh, included uh, with the UK model. Uh, it has, this is a 18 to 200 zoom lens, and it is possible to control the aperture either manually or electronically from the camera or manually from the camera as well. We also have very fine control of the, of the audio, which DSLRs do not have because they were not originally designed for this purpose. So we have control over each audio channel. We can control the trim and set the level and control the impedance and match very finely for any of the microphones. It can capture audio as a LPCM or as a Dolby, a Dolby AC3, a Dolby Digital AC3. Chris, can you tell us about the XDS PD2000? Is it an all-in-one XD Cam family storage device or a transfer tool? The XDX PD2000 is a one input, one output uh, server which has a solid state drive as internal storage. It can hold up to uh, half a terabyte of solid state storage on, on disk. Everything is stored as MXF, and it can be used to record either baseband signals or you can do file transfers on and off of its internal storage. It also includes a professional disk drive as well as two SBS card slots, which allow you to ingest material off of card to dump them off the card or off of the media onto the internal storage so it can be shared publicly on the internet. Chris, how is the PDWU2 different from the PDWU1? Well, the PDW-U2 is different from the U1 in the following respects. First of all, it's tw almost twice as fast than the PDW-U1 at 300 megabits per second to be able to read stuff faster off of XDCAM disks. And it also can use our higher capacity write once 128 gig disks that are upcoming, as well as our 100 gigabyte triple layer disks that are also coming. And in addition to the new media that's coming, that's compatible with, uh, it'll also work with our older disks, the 23 gig and 50 gig media. How is this deck mostly used? Is it in the field or is it in a studio? Well, for field use, you can use it for archiving material, uh, either from memory cards, so you can use it just like a very large hard drive, a removable hard drive, so you can store either video, graphics, stills, uh, what have you. If you have projects that you want to back up, you can also do it because the, the media is so much larger now and the drive is so much quicker. Dion, what makes this compact switcher different from the rest on the market? What are the best uses of this type of switcher? What makes the MCS-8M switcher different from every other switcher on the market 
is the combination of powerful features in such a small form factor and at a very low price point. We're talking about the uh, availability of SDI inputs, HDMI inputs, DVI inputs, and even analog composite inputs. Another huge feature that sets this switcher apart is the fact that it combines a eight input video switcher with a six channel audio mixer. The switcher can be used in mobile production in a flight pack. It can be used within corporate facilities or house of worship for in-house productions. It can be used in a variety of different ways, and that's what truly makes the switcher appealing. It's small, it's powerful, and it can be used however the customer sees fit. Thanks for tuning in, Information Over Drivers. We want to hear from you, so log online and tweet or write a Facebook post to tell us your thoughts about this year's Sony year. So where do you download Information Over Drive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.